Welcome everybody back to podcast episode 48, 49. This is definitely one of those weeks where I hadn't uh, really checked. I'm here with only my co-host E uh, this time. So it was good, E. It was good. Yeah, it's been a minute since we have done only like a double podcast. I think we've had Rod pretty much the whole season. Um, yeah. he, he's busy this week and... Uh yeah, on you know it's it's probably a, a better thing. Honestly, he's not here for this one because man, I got I got questions. <laughs> I got deep questions that I, I I don't think I'd feel comfortable discussing them um, as much around him. This it's a it's a bad week, bro. It's a bad week. I don't know how long this podcast is gonna be. It might just be twenty minutes because it's mostly gonna be about uh, Kobe. But um, I've already done. We're I'm gonna talk about it for sure. But I've already done my video on it and um. Oh, I was I haven't seen it. Yeah, yet. no, I did a video on like the uh, not even not like a you know career video, but like a mourning video because I you know it's the first death I've ever actually mourned in my All life right. uh, and grieved in my life. I've you know Paul Walker died when six years ago, and I felt some type of way about that one, but it's well, different. Yeah. Kobe was in my line of work, and obviously I've been a fan of him since I was younger. Uh, <laughs> after this event happened, I see how much stuff of him I have around my place, posters, jerseys. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyways, like I said, I wanted to let you talk first because I, um, I, I did my thing. So, you know, where, when you found out and what you've been, you know, going through this week with it or how it's affected you, I just, I'll let um, you go first because we didn't actually talk about it in person. No. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, it was Sunday, of course. I was getting ready. I was at work. It was crazy because I was like, yo, today gonna be a good day. I had a I had a nice coffee. I was talking to my, my colleagues, my my coworkers, and I was making my rounds, you know, I say hey to everybody and Jackie, she's a cosmetic person, she walked up to me, gave me a hug. We used to give each other hugs and she said, Do you hear about the basketball player that died? And I had my phone was off. I had my phone turned off, like, nah, what happened? And she said, uh, uh, they, you know, team, she, she nonchalant, like, yeah, who, they probably wrong anyway, but they said, Kobe died. And I'm mm-hmm. like, yeah, they probably want to, no, no, no. Yeah. And, um, I was, I was turning my phone on this, this double shit was going, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. Then another coworker came to me and said, yo, <laughs> yeah. you hear about Kobe died. And this is, this is a little later. This wasn't when it broke. It was like around four when I came, um, found out. Mm-hmm. And when I turned my phone on, the first thing I saw, I got a text from Jordan. You don't know, we went to school with Jordan. And I saw him earlier that day in the mall. He gave me his number. And some context with uh, Jordan is, he's a big LeBron guy, Kobe guy. So every time we get an argument like Kobe, LeBron, mm-hmm. and the only thing he said was, yo, dog, I'm crying. Yeah. And when I went on uh, Twitter and I see the TMZ uh, uh, report, of course, I'm like, okay, it's TMZ. They could be wrong. Then I saw seeing a lot of people that's verified saying the same thing. And when people say, um, you feel sick, it's, it's a real feeling you yeah. feel. Uh, it yeah. felt like your heart get dropped in your stomach and it just turns. Yeah. So I sat down immediately. And that's when my my people around me knew realized it's just a serious for me. Mm. And... It's when sh- another court came up said, did you hear that his uh, daughter was, uh, his, uh, yeah, that came nice. his daughter, Gigi, was in the, the, the helicopter uh, with him, and that's when it, 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 I, I broke after that. Right. Uh, I, again, you know, like, I'm 29, so I was there for, for everything. You know, my first time seeing Kobe was 98, 99 season. And I with my dad, and I can hit my dad older, so he the Jordan era. So he'll like uh, Jordan retired, and I'm like, well, who's the? And like Kobe was anointed the next one, yeah. and ever since <clears throat> I've, I've been I've been with Kobe ever since. And everybody knowing this podcast, I'm you know I'm super yeah, exactly. Kobe. We were just we literally last week we're talking about Kobe yeah, and Jordan and, 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 and all that. I had I. I, I tweeted and I had to unplug because every video, every, and I remember when Michael Jackson passed and how people were affected worldwide. Sunday, it felt like the world stopped for a moment. Absolutely. So and still. people from different professions, career paths, all was in mourning of Kobe and Jeezy and plus the other seven people that was on board. and. I just couldn't take, I couldn't function. So I stayed at work for a couple hours, but every time I try to focus on my job, I just think about Kobe. 
and I asked my management, "Can I just leave? Because mm. I can't get, I couldn't process simple tasks, information." Absolutely. And it's Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant was one of those player people that you just seen was going to be immortal. Yeah. Um, Completely. I would expect to see Kobe, you know, ten years from now, sitting courtside watching mm-hmm. Jeezy play in a televised game. Yep, WNBA. And you know, this. um, yeah, shit is sick. Still, it's it's easily the uh, <clears throat> easily the worst thing I've ever lived in, lived through in my life that actually affected me because I've lived through obviously tragedies right. and stuff and. See how they tried it is, but it's something called the monkey sphere. I, I probably told you about it before because right. I learned about it in college, where it's like a certain number of people that you can really give a fuck about in right. your life before it's just like faces. And normally, I, I would think the monkey sphere is kind of like narrowed down to people around you and stuff. Yeah, so you right. figure Close like people, yeah. yeah. So you figure like that's the number of people that if something happened to them, you would really feel some type of way. And um, so I didn't know you again. We uh, for just for background, I, I saw Eric on Tuesday. We were at Rollins. Tuesday, yeah. We didn't even bring up Kobe at all. Like it was just kind of like in the air, and you knew because that was only like by then two days after right. or three days after um after the whole thing happened. And uh, we didn't bring up Kobe at all. Rod brought it up once, and we were both just like, not now. Uh, you know, yeah. we didn't talk about. It. Normally, we talk about basketball on the treadmill. We didn't even say anything on the treadmill. I just went to my music. Um. And knowing, yeah, I didn't even know your story that you actually left the work. And that's crazy because, like, you're not the only one. I'm not the only one who is, like, you know, tragically affected by the loss of somebody we never met. I was never. in the same room. As, well, you actually have. I have a, have a small encounter, but it's not, like, the same as, like, yeah. hey, shake your hand. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan. Yeah. Uh, yeah, when I was working at Lando Magics, and I think this was right when the white came back. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember all the little jokes they had lined up and of course the shoot around. So I work while well, I work out, I work right next to the, uh, I work for the, the VIPs, the family, the friends, whatever. So Kobe was coming out to get some shots up and I was from you to me in the distance between us and he'll walk in by and I think I told you so I was super nervous. <laughs> I was gonna say what up black mom- mamba, uh-huh. but I said black mama. <laughs> <laughs> and he just gave me a head and I like, you know, see the knowledge like what up and just kept it moving. But that was the only time I actually came right, that right. close to Kobe Bryant. So I can only imagine the people that actually oh, know yeah. him on a personal level. Yeah, yeah, we'll and, absolutely um, uh get to that part. It, it is yo fam, this is Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant always was seen bigger than life. Mm-hmm. You know, you put to grow old with these people, man. Well, yeah, especially me and Dylan were talking about that earlier. I wasn't even ready to talk about it. Dylan came no. in and me. I don't think Dylan, you know, fully knew how much. Uh, well, he saw me when it happened, so I mean, he probably knew. But even still, now it's Friday. I still didn't even want to talk about it, but he wanted to talk about it. So I was like, it's important to you know but. get it out there. And uh, yeah, we were talking. And he was bringing up all this stuff and. Yeah, did you think that ever somebody could pass that you didn't know? Would it, did you was there ever like a, is there like a list of people like damn if they go I'm gonna be like I'm gonna have to leave work because no. I had no clue you had left work like um no not really because of him you can't plan we, we, for this we grew up with Kobe yeah I feel like I know Kobe personally right right like I since '98 you know Kobe but we saw Kobe as a child became a father and a championship mm-hmm. even his post career. I feel like I really lost someone dear to me, man. Yeah, yeah, same, same exact. Like, Irvin texted me and said, dude, I feel like my fucking dad died, B. Mm-hmm. Like, that's B, what Irvin said? Irvin texted me. Like, yeah. I feel like he lost his dad. You know, that's crazy because I have friends, too, that, like, uh, the, I, always, I always tell you about the kid I grew up with. Like, right. I've never really seen him show any type of emotion. He doesn't want emotion always. It's, like, funny. Everything's a joke to him. Right. Like, the world is in shambles right now. Shit's a joke to him. Like, it's all funny. Right. Even he texts me twice this week, like, yo, what the fuck? Like, he, even he texts me with that. And I've never... I've been around him like I grew up with this kid, never seen him any other way. And even he texted me though, a couple of times like, yo, I fuck with what you're doing with the Kobe thing. And like, because this is surreal. I've never seen it. This put this put like anybody who this really meant something to. It put them out of sorts. Anybody. You fuck me up, bro. Um, like you said, you know, you, you left work like I get you. Know, everybody deals with things differently. But I'm looking around the NBA community on YouTube and I see like, you know, people made their video or whatever or said what they had to say. And like people are right back to business making making their YouTube videos and stuff. I haven't made an actual like basketball video since this happened because like 
up until I'm, I, it gets better every day. Again, right. this isn't somebody I knew, so it's like I'm not gonna pretend my pain is like Vanessa's or something like that, right. even though Absolutely. it's deep. Um, but still, I haven't made a basketball video yet because I'm like, fam, I'm not interested in pulling out a story right now of not like the all. top ten times this happened or right. that. Like, I even today we're probably gonna talk basketball like near the end, but. Yeah, I never knew. I never knew a death of somebody right. out there could ever, ever, yeah. ever really mean something that much. You know? Yeah, because never um, can't plan for it. Cannot plan for it. It was a couple uh, Korg that was crying. Yeah, you know, and of course these women that I was with, they cosmetic beauty types, so they don't know who they, they don't know who Brian is. <laughs> but the, there was emotion because the context of the, the crash, who was on board, mm. and I was. I remember it was telling me like. They saw cust- customers, tourists on their phone when it first dropped, and some was breaking down. Yeah. Like Kobe was a it was global. It was like that. And I, well, my job is I, I I you know I work with clients, so I can't, I couldn't process shit. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't yeah. I couldn't think clearly. Exactly. And I'm like I I'm no use right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I and I had to leave because I fam I I was stuttering on my words. I couldn't. Do mm-hmm. simple tasks like I, I'm thinking about Kobe right now. Yeah, I, can't, yeah. I can't do this shit. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, this total learning experience for me because like, again, being in my life, I I haven't so much as had like a a grand a grandparent. Right, I hadn't right. so much as had that happen yet. And so you you grow up and I when I was in middle school, girl lost her dad. I was in elementary school. A girl lost her mother. I remember that. That's a couple of times that I've like seen it around me. Where it's like because I've never had any experience with it. You start to wonder. You like, damn, like, does this just only happen to other people? And right. if it ever ha- when it does happen to me, I'm like, it's a hundred percent gonna be a family member. It's right. not gonna be a. You you just you just can't plan for that type of feeling. And uh, with Kobe, it's it's so many things. Um, I was still interacting with everything Kobe was doing, fam. Yeah. Um, I was still interacting with all this stuff. He he does stuff where you come to playoff time and he breaks down footage for like ESPN yeah, of the current day players. Uh, he had the Mamba, uh, I can't what is it, Muse Cage thing he was doing. Muse I'm not Cage, sure if he really yeah. did it anymore, but I've watched his interview called the Muse, uh, his documentary. Also the, uh, the mom mentality, um, MW, MW, the girls academy thing yeah, he does. Bro, and he and was his, still giving so much to the he world. Had a, that he, he had a, his second kill, his second career is going to be amazing. Fucking amazing! And you knew that uh, Gigi was going straight to the WNBA. Damn that shit, but when I, and, that shit fucked me. I, I could. Um, that was probably Gigi in the WNBA is probably like seven years from now, more than likely. That's what it 13, was. Thirteen, so yeah. but that's still something I was looking like. Oh yeah, I cannot wait because that's going to be really good for the sport. Let's be real; like that's just going to be a great thing. I think we Kobe's both daughter. thought she was going to be the the piece that can make. Oh yeah, to elevate make, it. Yeah, because Kobe doesn't have a son, and you never knew if right. he was if he was going to have one and all. Right. Yeah, there's just so much. Um, <clears throat> how I found out was it was crazy. Like I was, um, just like you said, it, it was Sunday. It was supposed to be a great Sunday. That day, the Rockets and Nuggets are playing, and then Pelicans and Celtics. Yeah, right. so Zion and the Celtics. That's my shit. That's all my shit right, right there. Right. And I was just like, yeah, I'm just this is gonna be a great day of basketball. I went and worked out. Um, came home and I saw on the news when I was sitting because my mom was cooking breakfast and I was sitting in front of the news and I saw something that said five people dead and you know living in America I thought it meant mass shooting right, like, right. immediately I was like up oh, something got shot up right, just right. like that regular day but it said helicopter crash in Calabasas now it hadn't been reported it was Kobe right, all right. it said was that and I, and then it went to back to regular news right. like, politics and so I was like damn you know that's sad but, but I've heard of helicopter crashes right, before right. And so I always check Twitter every now and then. And a couple of minutes later, I got on Twitter and I saw the same TMZ thing you said you saw. And immediately, that's where, like, you said you needed it confirmed for you. What? Yeah, you needed it confirmed for you. I immediately knew it was real because I had already seen on the news Calabasas right, right. helicopter crash. And I can't even describe that moment because, like, at this point, I don't even fully remember it. Um, right. I saw it, like, to, to see it the first time. To see the headline Kobe Bryant killed, like what the fu- what? What does that even mean, yeah, bro? That's some shit seems from alternate universe. Like comic yeah, or what does that even mean? Like I can't. I don't really have the words to describe that when a figure like that dies. Because when we saw, I think one of the things that's making it so surreal for people is you seen Kobe on the court go through everything, everything. Um, and win or lose, he never looked in any kind of distress or distraught. He might get mad or whatever right. like that, but it never looked like he was in a situation he couldn't handle. Like fam, he tore his Achilles and and walked on his own power and took right. two free throws. Uh, we seen him get hurt multiple times and just get back up and go. So, especially when you talk about like a, a death and a, a tragedy, that's the absolute last person. Right. 
um, as fans of the sport, we still have all of our legends walking around for the most part. We still got Dr. J. We still got Bill, Bill Russell, Russell, Kareem yeah. Abdul-Jabbar, Oscar Robertson. Like, like them so guys like in the 80s. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And they're all healthy partly because of the sport they play. So right. you just assumed like, yeah, this is cool. We got another 40, 50 years left. And um, yeah, this is one like I'm, st- I'm still dealing with it on a yeah. daily fucking basis. Still a daily basis. Um, it, yeah. It, again, Kobe was some people you just you don't you don't see going out like this at all, at all, bro. Like when I I mean when I when I saw it, I'm like, okay, this is this, it's, it's not real. It still doesn't feel that. You Does looking at you looking at multiple reports and you just like this this still can't be real. Does it feel real to you like yet? Like still like yeah, it's selling now. Um, I'm kind of I'm I'm relieved that we don't record on a Monday. Uh yeah, nah, we wouldn't have. We I wouldn't, wouldn't have I wouldn't got through day. that shit. No, no, there's no way. Uh, yeah. so to be honest, getting on social media for a while and this gallon stuff helped me to get through this podcast. And if I would have any sooner mm. and constantly checking the tributes and everybody in the oh, morning, yeah. I wouldn't ever get through that. <clears throat> yeah, I understand that. I um, I haven't gotten through all the tributes, and I don't really know if I plan to. Like the one that they were showing at halftime when we were at Rollins and right. they had like Shaq and I watched like bits and pieces of it of it, but um. I really couldn't listen to everybody because, uh, man, I just uh, I don't. When you, it sounds cliche, right? When you say you're at a loss for words, that sounds cliche. But That's like, real. I, That's real. yeah, I'm still at a loss for words. When I I, I watch, I you know I've been watching all the NBA games this weekend, watching NBA TV, and when I see it on the TV, say Kobe Bryant, 1978 to 2020, like this. I told Dylan today. It feels like I'm I'm like peeking in on like a future like in the, into the future yeah. right now like some yeah. future reality wow. and they're like Kobe Bryant has passed like that like what that feels yeah. it feels like I'm looking through the window of like a future reality Absolutely. right now I got the same vibe like it's some alternative for alternative universe. bro um and yeah grief is grief is in mourning now I've learned a lot about it now now I see it can be just as real for uh you know for us here not ever knowing him. Uh, that's just something I learned, um, and uh, you know, and you'll be all right for most of the day. As time goes on, it, it gets better. Obviously, Absolutely. like we're on Friday now, and I've gotten pretty much better. Yeah. But uh, there's a, there's still always a moment each day so far. No, normally late at night, um, where I'll, I'll see that little the years that he lived or whatever, and I'll see it, and I'll just be like, just sit there and just like this. Yeah, is, I, didn't, I didn't sleep Sunday. I yeah. kept getting up, bro. Yeah. And you try not to think about it, but you know it's you think you don't think about it, it don't happen, but it still happens and, and total and total insanity and uh the fact that he was this is what this is what bothered me the absolute most. What got just like makes me angry actually is the fact that you know, when you play bat we assume basketball players all have like perfect lives. They're rich, they're right. famous and they do all this, but we forget that they're away from their family pretty much like nine months out of the year. Yeah. They're traveling. Yeah, they still see their family. Yeah. You know, you get to be with them during the summer for the most part but for the most part work is kinda consuming them. And so it really fucked with me that he retired in twenty sixteen. The you know, his career was over, he was right. done, but to go be a dad. Could go yeah. be a dad, to go be a husband. And uh he only got three years of that. Got three, three and a half years of that off. And I uh I I I mourn for his family, bro. Like Vanessa I and can't the even daughters. Imagine. Like how were they ever supposed to be happy again in, in their lives? Can't ever? imagine that. How were they I've always wondered about that with like death in general when this happens to people. Like say uh I don't know, it's a just like just like Vanessa, say like a widowed a widowed wife and a husband and a kid go out and die. How are you ever supposed to be happy again? Like how was that ever supposed to how are you ever supposed to recover from that? Is kinda what I wonder. Um, yeah, it's a lot of healing. You got two 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 souls gone. So. Yeah, and that's a that's somebody the the girl. Uh, yeah, Gigi, and then the other daughter, the oldest daughter. I can't Ta- exactly Ta- remember her name. Not, Natalia, Natalia. Natalia okay. Yeah, like that's her. You know, she probably understands what was going on more than the the other two the daughters. Two, they're like yeah. really small. Um, is is I'm not I'm not gonna lie. This one, that's why I said I'm kind of. This is probably a, a better thing that Rod isn't here today because I I know the things he. Believes in. I have questions now. I have questions. Well, now. Yeah, I heard a couple of people like, "Well, he's looking down," and you know, whatever. I have questions, but, man. I have questions because yeah. in the span of 365 days, two of the most like positive people, Nipsey, and then Kobe, these are two people that are doing shit in their community, still being productive members, highly productive members of society. Nipsey was like putting you know kids through, into like technology fields Absolutely. and stuff like starting that. companies in yeah. the neighborhood. 
that clo- he died at his clothing store right. that where he employed people. You know, and the day before he was to meet up with the uh, local law force to, to stop uh, gangs. Yeah, exactly. And, and All this good shit you're into. Nobody's perfect, obviously. I'm not saying they had no faults. All this good shit you're into, though. Kobe is being an uh, amazing father. He's uh, doing, you know. <laughs> no, nothing would nothing was fraud about him with with the support he was showing for like the WNBA. Not and, at uh, all. because no, like you seen that video. I don't. You said you haven't been on social media, but you see the thing that's popular now being a girl dad. Have you seen that? Yeah, I I, I got on this morning. I saw the girl dad trend. Yeah, yeah, and that's so you saw the video Absolutely. from Kobe, and that was all just a hundred percent in the moment. Just him. This is a this is the things that he was on. And it's like, okay, in the span of 365 days, I know more people have died, but I'm just saying, the people that we can see, people in the forefront, yeah. they're doing so much for the community. Now they're gone. I'm like, bro, I, I feel I feel like we're getting abandoned out here. I feel like we're getting abandoned out here because I can't, can't process that with all the evil that happens in the world, with all and, the... And, and it was multiple families on that helicopter. Exactly. That's, that's the... That fucked with me, too. The uh, Again, I don't know how many details you've looked up, but one of them was a family of three. It was yeah, a mother... Yeah, then a daughter and, the, and, a, and the, the husband. And so, when that happened, I, I, I said to myself, I was like, damn, you know, in this tragic situation, trying to find some sense of, like... Uh, not upside, but just trying to find some sense of what happened. I'm like, at least they went together, right? At least they didn't... At least they didn't... Um, that nobody's here to mourn, right? But turns out they have a two kids behind too. There's two kids behind that have now lost a sister and their parents. Lost a fucking family. Yeah, lost the whole fucking family. They don't even they don't have parents anymore. Fam. Like, how do you even wake up in the morning and, and hear like, oh, you know, half my family just just got into a helicopter crash? That's crazy. Like, uh, um, I don't have children, um, but I have nieces and nephews. That's young, and. After reading the detail of the helicopter, you know what happened. It, you know, it was a high impact. So, you on a helicopter with your child? What mm-hmm. the fuck you telling her? You mean like before it happens? Yeah. My my prayer. You know, this is the part where I haven't really dove into. Um, you know, you said you haven't been on social media as much. I've been on, but like I haven't been searching for details. Right. I saw one video about like because the, they don't even know the investigation still ongoing. Right. This is less than a week old. Um, but my hope, because from the little bit I read, they said it was like really thick fog. Thick Couldn't fog. really see in front of them. He didn't have a black box on his helicopter, yeah, so yeah. He, the port it had no right accurate navigations. Mm-hmm. Clipped the mountain. Yeah, and they say it, it started descending for about you know twelve seconds or whatever before it happened, but. My hope is that they were descending through thick fog and couldn't see anything and had no clue they were headed to the side right. of the mountain because that, that again that goes to the part where I can't I've never seen Kobe in distress you know what yeah. I mean? so I couldn't even imagine him with his daughter you know headed realizing what was about to happen I really hope that it was quick and, and quick and painless I really yeah. do because yeah man this this whole thing is just uh it's like, gonna take a while to it's gonna take a while to grip with I don't think in my lifetime it's ever gonna feel real. And the reason is, is when Paul Walker died, I still, I, before this happened, like I would still look at pictures of Paul Walker and, you know, and Fast and the Furious and stuff and think like, man, it doesn't really feel like he's gone yet. And that was to somebody like I didn't even feel that yeah. kind of connection with. And with Kobe, I, I don't even know, bro. I really think I'm going to be here like 20 years from now and still not actually grasp what that means. You know, it, it put things in perspective. Uh, I remember Sunday night when I went home, I called my dad because a couple of days prior, we had like a small disagreement. And I didn't want that to be the, the, the you know what I mean? Yeah, the last. Uh, the only regret with un, for unspoken words. So uh, I called him and just, to, you know, told him I love him. Mm-hmm. Because, again, life is sudden, man. Completely sudden and indiscriminate now that we see, right? No. Because I think now, because we have so many legends in our sport that are nothing's ever happened to them, we kind of look like, oh, you know, it, it gives you a certain view on life. It, right. it, it really feels like certain people you feel like nothing could happen to, like nothing yeah. would ever happen to them. Right. I think uh, this thing with Kobe is showing a lot of people that the universe does, it, it's totally indiscriminate. Like anybody can get it at any given time. And um, that's something I don't. Yeah, the time time is something that fucks yeah, me all the time yeah. too. Um, and it's and it's it's you know regardless where you have Kobe Bryant among your rankings, no one can compare the impact of of how is Kobe beloved. Oh, like now, and now that, you see that, right? You seeing that it's like with the Philippines with the drawing yeah. of the court. Everybody, every player, every basketball player. I even saw Smush Parker, who I heard vicious stories about right. their careers together, and Smush Parker's crushed. You know, I went on his Instagram, mm-hmm. and he's got like six posts to Kobe and. 
when I look, I was looking at all the videos now to prepare myself, and you had two of the two biggest critics, Colin, Colin Cohert broke down on air. Really, I didn't see that. Even Whitlock, yeah, Coon Whitlock broke yeah. down. I don't even want to see that. But the fact that people that you feel like they don't care about nothing are. You should show you how impactful Kobe was to just Absolutely. everybody. Every every opponent, Tim Duncan, Greg Popovich. I didn't even know Tyson Chandler. And, I, and I saw the Doc Rivers one. Yeah, that, that, that shit one fucked me up. That man. one fucked me all the way up because that's that was a Celtics coach right. around the time we were dueling with Kobe. And so that part as a child, I really felt like I was I was right. emotionally invested in those things. And so to see Doc Rivers go like I can't even I don't even know how to tell my team we got to go play today. That one. That one. Um. Yeah, man. Extremely difficult to watch. The thing, I mean, I, one thing that's made me happy though is uh, at least because in, in these situations, I think it's like an at least situation. Right. Um, seeing all the people and realizing like how many people had given him his roses while he was here. Absolutely. Because that's the thing that happens with sudden death is you realize like, man, like, oh, maybe we didn't tell him this or that, and literally the entire commu- NBA community when he retired, like they got whole thank you videos, you know, for him when he retired. Um, Absolutely. He got to tell the crowd in his last game, how much he loved them. And right. the love was, it was mutual. Uh, people like Steven Jackson, he was just on a podcast with him. He was able to thank him for everything. Like there's just so much, even Shaq, the biggest one, Shaq and Kobe, they had a whole sit down interview last year. And um, but, 2018. Yeah, but based off Shaq video, he feel like he just didn't say, what he needed to say Really I didn't I, I, didn't I saw the, the 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 Cause he said last time He talked to him Was the, the 60 game I figured that was You know The shock of the moment Making him forget That they had a whole A whole sit down Well together. I understand I didn't, The sit down And the 60 game What he was referring to So I didn't I didn't know what he meant by that Yeah cause they had a whole they, I, I just I, I literally fell asleep Watching it yesterday They had a whole You, you remember when they Sitting like face to face Yeah but I don't know What he meant by the last 60 Oh 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 Uh in his last season, uh, right before his last game, uh, Kobe was on like TNT. No, what I'm saying is, but the sit down was after that. Yeah, the sit down was after that. Yeah, it was. So the way he phrased it, like the last time he spoke to him was yeah. During the That's why game. I said I figured like you know Shaq has now lost his sister just recently. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And Kobe, I figured like in the grief of the moment, he might not. You know, who knows how it works. I think he yeah. might not remember that there was a whole. Which is kind of hard. Saw the T Mac one too, man. Yeah, T Mac, my favorite player. Seeing my favorite, you know, the player that got me into basketball when I was younger. Right. Um, seeing him, you know, tell the stories of when they were younger. And did you did you watch the whole thing? Yeah, I saw it. That eerie quote about him saying that Kobe, Kobe said he wanted to die, and that was before he had a family. Of course, obviously, of course. you know, that was the young, immature Kobe probably talking. Um, but through all these stories, the thing that you know makes me happy, aside from the roses. Is um learn well it, one thing I've learned is how good of a person he was contrasted with like what he was like on the court because the one the Kobe we followed was a killer on the right. court like yeah. he was just straight like you know he'd take your heart out right. and but I, now we're seeing a lot of different videos of Kobe you know in random times not even just interviews just random videos of Kobe all this other stuff it really does seem like you know for as as vicious of a competitor as he was it seemed like he was equally as good of a person it seemed like once he was off the court that mentality of like he, he wasn't like that all the time is what i'm saying that intense i just want to go right. at your throat all the time right, right. it seems like he really tried to be his best to everybody he came across really now that's something you don't you don't you don't really hear about you don't hear all the stories about lebron right now as much or yeah you do i mean he got a whole school yeah, dedicated yeah. people but absolutely you get what i'm saying for stars you don't hear about their everyday life right now we don't hear about kevin durant's everyday life in his right. good deeds we don't hear about that and now they're all coming out it really seems like kobe had like he said in his in the muse um documentary which i don't know if you've ever ever watched no. he said you know he created two separate kobe's basically the and that's where the uh i think he was saying the mamba mentality came from black mamba yeah that's what it was that was like his alter ego basically right. And Black Mamba was for the court, and the rest was to deal with his personal life because he couldn't take all that stuff on the court. And um, yeah, learning about all that stuff ha- has been a real eye opener. But um, yeah, I mean, his death has just been an eye opener for a lot of things. Like I hate how we just all we just don't have as much time as we need. You know, we don't. No, we, we just don't. don't have as much time as we need. We're all pulled in a million different directions by school, by work, by. A what, million, was, what was responsibilities we had? Yeah, we just like twenty four hours is seem like you know a few day, few seconds sometimes. Oh, so. especially these days, yeah. Since since we've left college, like every twenty four hours to me is like a is it's like five at best. Yeah, 
like when uh, like I'm on the couch at nighttime, you know, watching an NBA game or whatever, you know, trying to soak up what I can for the podcast. The next thing I know, I'm right back there. And 24 hours later, right, right. <laughs> it's like I go back, I go to the gym and then I come back and it's it's that time again. And um, you feel like you don't really get the time to appreciate, you know, the people around you, people around you, yeah. family around you. And then a sudden passing happens like this and you wonder like, damn, did I appreciate this person as much as I could have? Right. And it's like, yeah, that, that's the one thing. That's that's the one thing that's that's messed with me before this man. That's messed with me before this. Um, I don't know, man. That's that's about that's about it's crazy. This Kobe Bryant is gone, man. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's, that's still crazy, man. that still doesn't. Um, first time me saying that out loud because again, I ain't want to talk about this at all. Like, but, um, and, and I was it's crazy because I knew we had to record, record Friday, and I was trying to think of what was the. What can I say to give someone that was so impactful in my life the proper send off? And I just couldn't 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 come up with anything. I just knew that they gave me twenty years, yeah, of like endless memories. And that's um, that's the you know that's the gem. That's one of many gems from his life. Is that you know his short forty one years? I mean, he lived. A life as full as anybody really possibly can, right? Yeah. I mean, he came here and like from the time he he claims from like what two years old, eight years old, whenever he was, yeah. it was like yeah, basketball, I'm good. And then he came, he went and gave like every single, even in retirement, even in retirement. I mean, he was doing other things as well, but he gave like every walking moment um, to basketball, and that that is an inspiring thing. That is an inspiring thing. You wonder how like how we can. You know, incorporate that into our own lives, trying to find whatever we're passionate about and doing that. And yeah, makes you question a million different things. Makes you question well, what's after. It makes you question what's the meaning, what's yeah. purpose. It makes you question a million. Some people, not this, I'm not, not referring to Kobe per se, but children should not be, should be going out like that, man. The, what do you mean? The, 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 his daughter and the, the daughters, the, the, the people in the helicopter. Yeah, like, that, that's where what, you really what, question. What, right? what we, like, what are we doing? Like, yeah, what, yeah. what is the? And I'm, again, I, I, you know, I, you know, I'm not the most religious guy, but I, I don't know what the grand plan is here. Yeah, no, I 100 percent get you, bro. I, 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 that's the question, right? It's like, what is there to gain from? All the families on that copter with younger people, obviously, like like Gigi and the younger kids on there. And everyone always talks about like, oh, the the master plan, the the big picture that we supposedly can't understand. I'm like, fam, like, what's good? I, I hear this every time. Like, it feels like every tragedy we hear that, right? Yeah, just break it down so my little brain can handle it. Yeah. Explain it to me. <laughs> I'm I'm right there. I'm right there. Every tragedy that happens that doesn't make sense, or it's like somebody great or somebody who did something great, not just Kobe, plenty, you know, great people right. passed before, people who were giving something to the world, and it's like, oh, this is not for us to understand. This is this is part of everything. We can't grasp it. Yeah. I'm like, okay, so like this one now that I'm I'm actually tuning in, trying to learn this, it's like it was a, you know, the seven people. Then it was a 13 year old Gigi, and there was Kobe, and it's like, okay, so now they're gone, and the family's broken, and multiple families are broken. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't see if there's a plan. I don't see it yet. You know, I don't, I don't see it. Maybe no. we're not supposed to understand it. I don't know, bro. <laughs> Somebody Maybe, gotta show me some fruit soon. <laughs> Maybe we understand it when we get there. I guess. Somebody gotta show me some fruit soon, bro. At, at, at this point, like, fam, I'm not. Like, th- like that's what it. That's what it really. Feel. It this year so far, twenty twenty, it has. has yeah, felt we only like, got one month, and it's, it's crazy. Yeah, bro. It, it's felt like a, is somebody is somebody fucking with me right now. That's what it feels like. It's like, am I gonna? Whenever I pass, am I gonna like you know wake up somewhere else and they'd be like, ha, ah, like we were just fucking with you, like it's, uh, Kobe, your weight, he over there. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, uh, it was a joke. You thought this was serious? Hey, yeah. Like, yeah, it, it got to lead to something, no, right? No, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm wake up and somebody's just gonna be like, yeah, this we, we we oh yeah that year yeah we just we just turned up that year you know we wanted to we wanted to fuck with y'all heavy like yeah oh man um yeah this and is, my sister called me because she know how I feel of she called me and she found out make sure I was in mm-hmm. functional spirit you know and right right my mom my mom checking on because again my whole family knows is 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 kobe yeah. would die lakers you mm-hmm. know and 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 what's well, it's, it's kind of like 
I know he's gone, but I'm just I'm happy that people are doing you know showing their respect worldwide. Yeah, yeah, everywhere. You know, I'm just, it's unanimous, right? Yeah, just, even someone like Whitlock, who who yeah. used to who had I don't know if you saw that part had like scathing articles for Kobe when he was exactly. here. Exactly, he was breaking down life. Yeah, hey man, that, that what happens when you make that that type of impact? You that type of influencer. I haven't, uh, and I will never. I haven't had much to say or much to think about people who were, you know, always at his throat before he died. Right. Uh, even recently, because a certain somebody, LeBron passed him, and, and, and LeBron passed Kobe in scoring, and somebody just had to just had to tweet yeah. out a shot like, uh, "Oh yeah, yeah so, so yeah." And that was a that was, and it's not just that. I one. didn't see his uh, his uh, uh, tributes or anything yet. I, I don't want to see it. I saw yeah, I, I saw a little bit of it. I, I was didn't like, see anything because yet. it wasn't okay on, on that last. He deleted the tweet though. Yeah, of course, because you know what that looked like. That was yeah. like twelve hours before. Right, right. right. Um, look, I, and like I said, death and and mourning probably hits people different. Like as you can see, like I said, even Whitlock was. So I'm not here to judge what people were saying, you know, beforehand and and after. Because after something happened, you realize again, just like we said to us, you know, it didn't look like anything could ever happen to Kobe. Right. Just like, you know, we see probably we probably see LeBron that way. Something that we don't he don't look like that yeah. type. So, you know, in one hand, you're like, oh, well, this guy is just doing his job and, you know, putting all the stats and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I can't even remember where I was going with that. This is a this is a tough one. But I, I, I'm I'm pretty much done with. Uh, I, I think I wonder if this one will change the NBA community going forward, like how it will change it. Because I know for me, like personally, in, in what in what way? Well, mean? I'm saying like the craziest part about this whole thing is if you look at everything that happened maybe like 12 hours before this event or 14 to 15 hours everything was almost like a goodbye like LeBron's whole interview about he just praised it, the it shit was out of Kobe. eerie man yeah had Mamba forever on his shoe oh and it was in Philly in his hometown like everything was like a goodbye and Kobe's last tweet it says is like a uh, congratulations keep moving the game forward this is, la- this is the last thing he ever tweeted out and I'm looking at it now like, yeah, it'll probably give me a different perspective and appreciation on the game. Comparing is always going to be there, but right. something like, uh, you know, the Kobe and LeBron arguments, how they used to be, like, I, right. pro- I don't think I'm pretty much done. Like, I don't think I'll be participating in those anymore because they all, they always got really vicious. They always got vicious. Yeah. Like, we could sit here and talk about, like, oh, who do we think is a better player right, from right. this standpoint? But it, it we're not going to sit here and pretend like things didn't happen before that. The fan bases were warring constantly, yeah. you know, and constantly trying their best to tear this player down. You know, one side trying to tear LeBron down, one side trying to tear Kobe down. Um, and I guess at a younger age, maybe we've participated in that or whatever. But, yeah, you know, I, I just kind of want to appreciate the players now completely it, man. we'll still be comparing obviously like we have well, life heartedly hmm? nothing, nothing viciously but yeah, 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 yeah you know yeah. which i hadn't really done the vicious stuff since i was probably like in middle school or, or high school anyways but hopefully this is a, a wake-up call to certain people like this man kobe was just minding his business for the last three years and people were constantly trying to tear his right. legacy down you know what i mean people constantly trying to show why he wasn't this or why he wasn't that great or whatever and uh you know hopefully hope hope you know you, who knows how it's gonna affect certain people, bro? Who knows yeah, how it's, it's gonna affect certain people? Uh, yeah, um, yeah. I, I, I'm, it might, you know, it might slow down. I'm pretty sure you have some, some, some knuckleheads every now and then want to take a little funny little, little <laughs> joke. But I didn't think that debate and that comparison probably retired. What do you? Um, um, what you, you about? You, you, you no, nah, I'm saying I, I think I'm gonna oh, retire. Okay. You might again. You might like I saw even when I saw the report, it had some slick people. No, no, no avatar that's an egg saying <laughs> saying some slick Kobe. Yeah, joke yeah. like and, twenty and, digits behind the name and shit like yeah, that. Man. Burners. Yeah, burners. Um, what what is your perspective on people that like? Because like Nick, let's just go ahead and call it Nick Wright is not the most egregious one out here. Like he always had some slick shit to say, but for the most part, I guess it was it was basketball. But there's a, a couple accounts out there. I'm not gonna name, and you wouldn't know this account either. But it's a pretty uh famous basketball Twitter account, a uh, pretty famous guy on Twitter and in the NBA Twitter space. And you know they go back and pull this man's tweets, and he was constantly at Kobe's throat talking about his wife, mm-hmm. talking about his uh, kids back from because you know Twitter don't forget. So like this shit is from not like not 20, at all. They pulled receipts from like 2010 on this That's man crazy. going at Kobe like you know just personally and like oh yeah he did this and he did that. 
you know, fast forward 10 years later, this happens. And now we saw what look now like crocodile tears. But we see that. What What is your perspective on that when somebody passes and, you know, well, you look at what they said when they were here versus they die. And it's, oh, my goodness, this was the greatest. And, you know, what, what's well, your perspective well, on that? again, again, death affect everyone's differently and you can't foresee it. So I cannot really judge a person for saying even though hateful rigid you know stuff like what he was saying and when it actually happened when a man passes and the way he passes have a change of heart because you know you can't you can't expect it you know you can't account for it coming and again i don't know this person but if he if you feel like he's he tweeting all you know sincere and apologizing I, I, some, I probably do believe him because again you had media outlets that Constantly tear down Kobe and criticize them, but you see him breaking down, knowing that it comes to a legend like it was a great player and a greater man, right? And right. the impact he had again, I don't know this count, but of course, bring up his wife and all that just sounds a sick and wild, you know, yeah. cornball. But <laughs> again, man, when, when shit like this happened, we can't really, yeah, I guess it just goes to the thing of that's why. Try you know try when, when it comes to like comments and stuff like that you try to get it right the first time right. while people are here like if you you'll notice on this podcast and whatever content I've made I don't I, even even the most egregious thing that's happened in the last few years of uh, KD going to a stack right. team you never heard me on here calling him a bitch you never heard Not me on all, here like man. oh he's a fucking coward like right. I never went at KD as a as a man I've always said I've always maintained the exact consistent stance I was like oh yeah you know that move was kind of weak G you right. need another t- you know title and on I, top and of I that. saw uh, he want to make up with KD um, yeah Kendrick Perkins yeah yeah. yeah. Death affect everybody. Yeah, death affect everybody so. differently. So hopefully, if there was people like really going at players' throats, like where it's just to the point, you know, you don't really need to. Like right. you on Twitter all day going at the throats for calling them all types of, you know, you know you absolutely like things like with KD. Hope if that was you before, and it's like you know you can't change the past. Hopefully, it's something that opens your eye, and then you know you could you you shape up a little bit. Um, but again, that is why we. That's why I try to get it right here. That's yeah. why I try to get it right with that regret. Yeah, eat you up, man. Yeah, yeah. That's why I, I, you know, and the players. Uh, like I, I've always said, like people, I come in and ask me, oh, what, who's your least favorite player? Who do you dislike? I was like, these these guys are playing basketball. I don't really like dislike anybody on the right, basketball right. court. Like, I've never really gotten like at the end of the day, these are all guys who've like spent countless hours on even the sorriest the quote unquote sorriest player right. on a basketball court they've worked countless hours on this game mm-hmm. you know I, I i play this game i've realized how hard this game is to actually play yeah. and be elite at. Yeah. so you know I, I never go i never go down that road of like i never go down the crazy road you know yeah. of like going to, and personally disliking players but um yeah man Dude, we have 40 damn we do it 42 minutes on wow that's crazy okay it's 42 right above 41 right <laughs> the number the whole number saying yeah, this is getting, getting eerie man super eerie all the scoring did you see the scoring yeah that happened i the saw day? the devin booker and uh trey yeah. young 24 Numbers, attempts eight so rebounds much 81 stuff. combined so much crazy stuff man and yeah the 40 last kobe game he walked off at 41 seconds that is yeah 4.1 seconds yeah and we yeah. did we we've got we finished this conversation based Basically at forty two minutes, which is right above forty one. Like yeah, this. you know, you it, know, it, it's too much. Um, so yeah, that's I. I've pretty much exhausted what I. I'm exhausted of talking about it. Like yeah. honestly, this is probably the. Besides when I um I'm on like Twitch streaming and we talk about it with my chat and stuff. This is probably the last time I'll be like talking about it on the internet because I just want to. Yeah. Try to you know, let let them rest. Yeah, let, let, let them rest. rest. Move on from it. Yeah. But, you know, as much as we can. And uh, yeah, man, appreciate a legend. Um. Basically, the only thing I, I I didn't even keep a podcast log this week. Normally, I keep a log of stuff to talk about. Like I, I didn't really care this week. Um, only but you know, the only thing that's really happened is the All Star stuff. Yeah. Anyways, that that um, we would care to really delve into, and uh, we got our reserve list in, and we uh, we had that conversation last week. The only reserve we really got wrong was Kyle Lowry because he made it. Who over. we had over him though? Well, yeah, I, I put Beal. I think I said Beal was a lock. That's how much of a. Yeah. I, that's how much I assumed he was going to be in there, and yeah. I guess people are actually saying like, "Well, yeah, Lowry deserved it too. It actually should have been Sabonis that wasn't in. Beal should have been in over him. I wasn't expecting Lowry. Though. Um, let's see. This. So the the things that people are mad about, we can make it easy this way. People are mad that Beal is not on it. People are mad that Booker did not make it. Booker should have made it over Ingram. You believe so? I think now. He got better numbers. He's a more proven player. We we decided about Ingram because this is his breakout year, quote quote. 
True. This is breakout. And they were a game apart from one another or something like yeah, they're, that. Yeah, they're all fighting for the AC. Pelican like, come on. That's in, you know that's that one's interesting. Again, I've, I've been kind of thrown off this week. So with the whole Ingram, no, see that's the thing though. That's the thing. People are saying, look, Booker should have made it over Chris Paul. People are saying that they agree Ingram oh, was an All Star. Chris, you know, Chris Paul is a playoff team. So yeah, so th- that's the interesting conversation here. How does this work? Because All Star is technically this is one of those things where that's an individual. Okay, last week let's go back to last week. Last week the reason that we said Chris Paul was going to make it, and you know why we only got Lowry wrong, is because we essentially said like, okay, coaches are choosing the reserves. We already know that has a certain that 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 means something, right? This isn't That's players, yeah. it's not fans, not media. This is coaches. So at right. the end of the day, a coach is probably going to say Chris Paul is an All Star over Booker because they're actually in this. They're they're coaching the teams. They, you know, see a lot of the winning ways and stuff like that. So I pretty much figured because of that reason and then the Thunder not you know being expected to be a playoff team or any of that that it was going to be Chris Paul. Mm-hmm. Um, but. It's a, it's a, it is kind of a difficult sell. I mean, like you just said with Booker, like the, you said Booker should have made it over Ingram and not well, Paul. Well, I think Booker and Ingram are the only the one you should be arguing. I think Chris Paul did enough work and the expectation they have for Thunder this season. That's why he's a, a, a all star. But the Ingram and Booker, both from outside of the playoffs, and they both have great numbers. But I think Devin Booker got a better, better resume. Again, he also their second best player was out for twenty five games. Yeah, that's that's, you know and mean? they're not even out of the playoff run. We rewrote the Suns off after that happened, and they turned yeah. out to be one of the bigger surprises this year. Um, what I find interesting is that people are saying like it's a nostalgia thing with Chris Paul this year as well. So he he's put in a season this year at seventeen points, five rebounds, six and a half assists. 47 from the field, 35 from three. But he's also, again, like you said, like he's doing a lot of other things that don't really show up yeah. on there to get this team that we thought was probably going to be a lottery team. Yeah, I thought well. so. Like, so that pretty much does leave it at, at Booker and Ingram. But he, here's the thing, right? First of all, if it would have been th- – th- there's always going to be somebody mad over a snub. That's always going to happen. Um, by the way, Booker and Beal are like two of the only players in a really, really long time to have those numbers yeah. and to not make the All-Star like, we'll team. we'll be free or something like that. <laughs> Uh, I, I forgot the name. It starts with a P. Uh, here's the craziest part. Steph isn't playing this year. Clay is not playing this year. Due to that fact, Draymond Green is not – he had no hopes for an all-star this year. So <laughs> right. That's three players right so there. package deal is, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, package deal. He's not making an all-star team by itself probably. That's three players in the Western Conference right there. That's three spots that you can pretty much say – Or lock next and year. And KD wasn't in the West this year too. And he's right. hurt, yeah. So – as long as pe- people are actually proposing that we change all pretty much just like our anger with conferences, people are saying that all stars shouldn't be with conferences. It should be the uh, 24 best players in the NBA or you should move the rosters to 15 people instead of 12 because like a regular NBA roster yeah. can have 15 people on it. Because as long as you have it as East and West, it's going to be a lot of people missing all star selections on their resume. Like Damian Lillard missed a few because he played in the West. Devin Booker just probably be a Hall of one. Fame player with. Four All Star yeah. selections. Crazy. Like, we're gonna have to come up with another stat, basically, to put like uh, we should call it a should have been All Star. Like yeah, right now, because right, right now, like if Booker goes on to make All Stars throughout his career, like this year is probably gonna be like a okay, he was an All Star player this year, he just wasn't on the team. You right. know what I mean? Um, and there's so many, there's only so many All NBA spots. So if they didn't make the All Star team, then they could try to make All NBA. But again, that's kind of difficult. Like if you didn't make the one, you're probably not gonna make the other. Um, but. Yeah, I don't know. Do you do you think they should switch it to that? Uh, they have to because it all again. It's gonna get crazy. Yeah, it'll be collect like, again next season. It's a good chance those three wars be locks again. Maybe, may, and maybe not green. I would say probably. Well, I'm saying, he's well, those two backcourt yeah, players. He has a chance. That means even more people get off this list. Yeah, exactly. They have to change it because you look at you know the East. You got you know it's like come on. Man. <laughs> Oh yeah, we'll get to the East because people are mad. But yeah, at they it. have to do the best twenty-four or the, the the best thirty if you count the, the two fifteen slots. Um, yeah, we're we're looking at this going. I don't see Devin Booker uh, getting an All Star election next year if he. Yeah, he got that's great what numbers. That's what I'm saying. Like so, next year, the Suns. Who knows where, if they're going to get any better? But another thing we're not talking about here is at some point, barring injuries, Ja Morant and Zion are also probably going to be all stars. Yeah, <laughs> they're also because Zion is definitely at, at this. The, I don't know if you've been paying attention to him since everything happened, 
But at the level he is, he's playing, he's dominating without really even like playing full minutes right yeah. now. And in short stints, he's dominating. So as long as he's healthy, he's going to be an all star rather quickly. Right, right. That's right. another spot. Then, you know, John Morant, same thing. Right. He's probably going to see that's another spot. Uh, so Devin Booker might be missing the playoffs for a minute. I mean, be missing an all star like team. He is. Man. Yeah, right? Crazy, man. Yeah. It's How many years in the league ago? Uh, 2015 was his draft, okay. right? I believe. Yeah, I think so. Something like that. So yeah, they got to do something. Yeah. Um. And so, but it is a lot of the voting thing is kind of ratchet because there's a lot of inconsistencies, right? Like the one thing people are really mad about in the Eastern Conference is they're saying Trey Young is a starter, and Bradley Beal didn't even make it. They're both putting up pretty damn good numbers on Atlanta pretty trash, bad dog. teams <laughs> and actually Atlanta's worse than Washington yeah. right now so how did that even happen like how did well, you, fan vote yeah, yeah, fan yeah fan vote. Vote. that's the other coaches element. wouldn't have had that man and yeah, yeah, yeah 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 that's the other element to this right is that at the end of the day this is an all-star game right. and respect to everybody who made it but I think people would rather see Trey Young in the all-star game and starting in the all-star game than a Let's say it's a bonus, which who, who we said was going to make it because yeah. uh, you pays had to have somebody. But let's be real. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, like, yeah. it's the all star game. I'm like, this is a, this is for all stars. You want to see the most exciting players. People want right. to see Trey Bauman from the logo. Trey is probably one of the more exciting players in the East. Absolutely. So. Ky- Kyrie Irving is only not in it right now because he didn't play pretty much most Absolutely of the year. KD is going to come back next year, and depending on his Achilles. I'm pretty sure if Kyrie and Simone would be at the crib. <laughs> he said if Kyrie was all star right now, because it won't just be at the, crib, be at the yeah. Crib, yeah, no, it would probably push to it. Would, it'll push somebody out. Or somebody would get pushed out. Yeah. Somebody would get pushed out. Speaking of which, uh, yeah, we the East, yeah, we we got everything right, like we said. Besides, uh, Lowry, yeah, yeah. So Bam Bam Adebayo got his. Uh, Jimmy Butler got his. But yeah, you know, it's, it's the All Star game. It, the the outrage of these things is kind of interesting because like I, I want to see Trey Young start in the Eastern Conference this year. Yeah, that's fun, yeah. bro. That's that's fun. I want to see the logo shots. I want to see Lillard with the shots. You so know? you think Devin Booker should be over with Chris Paul? People are saying, uh, it should I, do I think Devin Booker yeah. should be over with Chris Paul? I mean, when you look, it's it's very difficult to argue against because again, because of the inconsistencies, you're saying, okay, is this. This is the thing, right? Is All Stars an individual thing or is it a team thing? Well, it's like and because it's 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 about individual, but you got your your numbers have to have some type of impact. Impact of the winning, right? Right. So I think it's numbers and impact, right? I I think it's just a case of too many too many deserving players and right. not enough spots. I really think that's it because. Saying Chris Paul just got all star in nostalgia this year. No, I think Chris Paul's an all star this yeah, year. Yeah, absolutely. He's playing like an all star. So like you, they sent him to to OKC to they to sent waste his, his career, right? They sent his career to die, and the man might finish over Houston this year. Like that's crazy. So, man. Yeah, and he it's not like oh, just these young cats are carrying him. He's averaging ten points. No, like Chris Paul yeah. is is doing well this year. Yeah. So. Um, it, yeah, Cat's not even an all star this year. What about when he comes back? If he hadn't yeah. missed like a ton of games, he'd right. probably have an all star spot. Like, yeah, they got somebody like this. Booker is not gonna have an all star appearance for a minute because, wow. um, but yeah, the inconsistencies simply come down to the starters being partly chosen by the fans, and so you're gonna get the more exciting players like Trey Young's. And of course, we, uh, people are, uh, Dame, who, who, who has got the start in the West? You gotta, because Westbrook, and, yeah, because, yeah, because Westbrook and Lillard just got the, uh, the back, they got the Harder, reserves. Kawhi, AD, and LeBron, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, so th- yeah, so that, so that's why people are saying, oh, it's inconsistent. Like, well, th- that's the inconsistency: is the top part is selected in part by fans, and then the bottom is coaches, and they, there's totally different values there. Because otherwise, yeah, Bradley Beal probably would have made it. Bradley Beal is averaging almost 30 points a game this year. So, if it, it, but coaches don't care for players that are averaging a lot. And, and yeah, they winning. want you to crazy. You have great numbers, but you gotta have some type of impact on your team winning. Right, right. But I guess supporting cast, supporting cast, they don't count that in there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, but I really thought Devin Booker should have made it. Cause I know I, I said Ingram last week, but when I actually look, cause look I, I wouldn't pay attention to Devin Booker at all this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just blinded with Ingram because he being more talked about because he had this surge and he got the most improved thing going on. Mm-hmm. We look at Devin Booker numbers and and where they at um, in the in the seating is like fam. Right. He got a, he got a case. What do you uh, think about the format in the All Star? Yeah, fam, you gotta explain that shit to me. (laughs) I saw it. I'm like, yo, this is what is. It's actually not as confusing as it sounds. So basically, uh, they they've they found a way to make it competitive this year in honor Kobe Bryant. So okay, you got the first three quarters, and whoever has the so like so you play one quarter, the resets. 
that part I I don't. Maybe I should pull it up so we Please so we don't do. confuse the podcast people. Yeah, I didn't know. I thought we were doing like a some type of uh tennis score like tennis score. y'all doing sets or something uh, most points in a set uh, yeah um, I, I mean at the end of the day like they they i, I think a, a all-star because they've been tinkering with the all-star format over these years now like right. we didn't always have team Giannis and team lebron by the way you might not have heard what they're doing um the jerseys yeah the jerseys I yeah that. i think team Giannis is wearing two i believe for gg 24 and then yeah two. one is kobe yeah, yeah so i said i thought it would be eight and 24 but of course yeah and of course now you gotta get gg the, there the GG yeah um so yeah so they've been and then so with with the captains a couple of years ago they did that to make it a little bit more competitive it was better than that year we watched ad score like like 50 and they just like uh-huh. people were letting them um okay so the four yes yeah, here, here we go so each quarter will be treated as like a mini game and it's going to last 12 minutes and it's going to give each team a chance to win money for local charities and so at the end of the third quarter each team's points are going to be added up for an overall score okay i'm not gonna lie, i didn't know this part <laughs> At the start of the fourth quarter, a target score will be determined by adding 24. The number Bryant wore for the second half of his NBA career to the lead team's overall score. For example, if team A has 100 points mm-hmm. and team B has 90 points mm-hmm. at the end of the third quarter, the target number will be 124. Okay, okay, that's it. That's pretty easy. So team A was leading, right? They uh-huh. had 100 points, and so now the target score is 124. Okay. <laughs> uh, so whoever we'll get whoever we'll get a 124 wins. Or? The game will then go to sudden death, meaning whichever team hits that target number first wins the game. Okay. Um, and so oh, and shots, whoever though. wins each of those first three quarters, I believe, is a hundred thousand dollars goes to that team's charity. Okay. Too. So I mean, hopefully that'll make the players care a little bit. Well, I compete. think with the context of the situation, yeah, the, yeah, I think everybody playing all that game. Yeah, yeah. Nobody's. I, I really hope so because you yeah. come on and play like a bum. Yeah. Uh, people. I mean, it, the memes about this were funny on Twitter because like I, this is going. This is going to confuse a casual fan. Let's be yeah. real. We all love memes. So the the. The instant reaction to this is to look at this and go, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, I'm not even gonna I lie. I saw the one with the Kobe meme. He's like, wow. And he goes, the, the, the big ass L dunk uh-huh. sign. <laughs> Kobe giving an L to his own. To yeah, his own true. Memorial. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I mean, I, I do. Like, yeah, it's going to confuse the casual fan, absolutely. But I think the end result of this is actually going to make it competitive because you have the charities. It's a it's a tribute to Kobe, and uh, you know, at the end, there's going to be a target score instead of just playing until 12 minutes runs out. So I think there'll actually be some level of competition, and uh, that'd be kind of like the All Star Game back in 2000. I can't remember the one where they were all wearing their own jerseys, and it was right, like a right. super competitive All Star Game. I think it'll be something like that, and um. Uh, the dunk contest contestants also Dwight Howard, Aaron Gordon is in. He agreed to be in. So Dwight, Aaron Gordon. I think his le- his his legacy, uh, if he have one, is tied to Zach Levine. If he ain't playing with Zach Levine. I don't want to see this man in there. Aaron Gordon and Dwight, bro. I'm telling you, hold on, hold on. Twenty twenty. I'm saying he bots his return with the drones and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That was a couple. Of, that was a couple of years ago. Um, contestants. Yeah, the, his return. I'm not gonna lie. It, yeah, it was kind of like, uh, yeah. right. And there was no, um, there was no Zach Levine in that one either. I don't exactly. think. Hey, so who the fourth guy? That's what I'm looking at right now. Uh-huh. So Howard and Jones. Oh, so actually there is no fourth head, is there? This is from yeah. This is from today. Uh, Sham said that Gordon is going to participate. He's going to join Dwight Howard, uh, Derek Jones Jr. Oh, so I guess there is no fourth yet. What's the time, right? You say what? It's still time, right? Yeah, I want Zach Levine to come run it back. <laughs> well, he probably well, salty about getting an All Star selection, so probably not. Yeah, we knew he, I knew he wasn't gonna make it. Right? Well, he, he said some. I entertain if I get in. Based All-Star. based on the coaches, like I said, I knew he wasn't. Yeah, get Bill ain't getting you ain't getting. So. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Um, okay, is it, oh. Uh, ESPN reported Levine actually has been invited but hasn't yet committed. Okay, said he's more likely to enter the event. If he selected as an all star, okay, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, <laughs> Chicago, you better do something, right? fam. You better get in that shit, man. No, whatever, bro. Like, That'll be the perfect one. You got the the, the, the revenge. I yeah. mean, the, the the repeat, and plus you got Dwight and right. Derek. On the uh, very off chance that Levine listens to this humble sized podcast, <laughs> get right, your ass in right. there. We're Chicago, like, yeah, okay, man. bro, all star, whatever. You you'll have your time, like, yeah, man. Come run it back with Aaron Gordon and the dunk, and the Godfather of the you know the recent dunk contest, Dwight Howard right. in there. Yeah, come run that shit back, bro. And yeah. you got a you know the high flyer Derek, just to, to 
entertain y'all. Yeah. Like, come on, that's crazy. That's a potential. At least we have some like like it, flyers. It, yeah, right. Like we know Aaron Gordon can do a good dunk contest. We know Dwight can. We know Jones can. And then now we just need Levine, so we don't yeah. get some like random guy we never seen off the yeah, bench jumping off pitches. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, I, I think that's gonna be it today. Um, yeah, there's yeah, we're like right at an hour. Um, yeah, I, I was not looking forward to doing this podcast. Honestly, I, I didn't even know what we were, what I was gonna say before we got on. But uh, yeah, man, just uh, everybody out there, uh, uh, rest in peace, uh, Kobe Bryant, uh, for twenty years of excellency. Uh, he was a great player and a greater man. Absolutely, eight twenty four mom forever. Absolutely, and uh, this podcast will be on Spotify and iTunes if it's easier for you to digest there. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the pod this week. We will be back next weekend. Uh, <laughs> I gotta say it for Rod since he ain't here. Be safe out there, everybody. Be safe. <laughs>